hey y'all welcome to my channel it's dia here from art idea and i'm gonna show you how i made this regular regular bag into the motherfucking bag so let's start off with the materials i used angelus leather paint which i'm obsessed with i have a collection and haven't used a lot of colors yet so it had me going and I also use pretty inexpensive brushes from Walmart or if I find a random art store in the neighborhood, I'll just pick up cheap brushes. I don't know. Is it just me? For some reason, I always find myself buying brushes on brushes, especially if they're the detailed ones. Besides that, I do recommend to have a rag nearby or a roll of paper towels just because things can get messy. I usually use cotton balls, but since I'm working with a small canvas, I also use Q-tips to prepare the leather and fix little mistakes along the way. Working with leather, you definitely want to prepare and deglaze. Angelus does have a preparer and a deglazer, but in this situation, I just used acetone. If you want to know more about the supplies that I've used, I'll list them in the description box below with more details. And you know I can't forget about the coffee. A bitch loves coffee. So let's get into this painting. I decided to go with two eyes. I started off with the left eye and I wanted to focus on creating this colorful sunset. As an artist, I usually find myself working from the center to the outside details. As you can see, I started off with the moon and then I worked my way to the ocean. So painting the ocean consisted of different shades of blue. And since we're working with a small canvas, it's all about the placements and different brush strokes to really bring it to life. These different shades of blues work really well together because they're opaque. In other words, these specific paints didn't require many layers for the color to be as visible. I usually paint with oil paints. I'm used to working with a range of difference between opaque colors and transparent colors, but in this situation, I'm working with acrylics. I don't mind acrylics, but before this project, I haven't mastered blending the acrylics. And you know blending is key with all types of medium. So you can see me blending the acrylics with different colors for the clouds. Now this was a little challenging in the beginning because these Angelus paints are from the Neon Collection and these colors were kind of coming out real transparent. Um, but whatever, your girl loves a challenge. Quick question, do you have random outbursts and dance sessions after overcoming challenges or are you normal? All right, so back to the painting. The strategy is to have different brushes for different uses and speed up the process since the paint dries a little fast. I went about this by having a brush for each color and even having extra brushes here and there. And the different brushes besides for each solo color is literally to serve the purpose of either splitting the brush in half, of having one color on one side and another color on the other side or just to even have dry brushes to do smooth blending and my favorite dry brushes are the ones that have like the hairs coming all out looking all crazy but those are the best for blending and when it comes to blending it's all about the motion let me say that one more time it's all about the motion you want to lay the brush flat and make the brush strokes in only one direction to get that smooth blend if you feel a little bit more experienced, then you can always flip the brush going the complete opposite direction. The trick is to make sure that the colors align to the top half of the brush and to the bottom half of the brush. And then after that, I follow up with dry brushes, you know, those really crazy looking brushes to really blend it even more. All right, y'all, we're moving on to the night sky. So I'm using the same strategies. I focus on the center and then work my way outwards. If you want to focus more on that blending action, you could see it happening around the glow of the moon and in the pink cloud portion of this video. Aren't they so cute? If you're working on a project that involves leather, I do recommend to test out the leather paint. Ideally, you want to focus on whether the paint is translucent or opaque. This will definitely help you game plan throughout the creative process. Translucent is not a bad thing, but in this case, I wanted to blend the paint thoroughly and had a minor setback since some of the paints required multiple layers to look opaque. On top of that, acrylic paints are known to just dry fast. Basically, you want to know what you're dealing with so it can be a smooth process. You feel me? Maybe you can do it inside the bag where no one's gonna see, or you can do it on a piece of leather scrap if you have around.
and a little bit about me i love catching sunsets especially on the beach because i'm a crab i'm also that annoying person that will always see the moon looking beautiful and say oh my god look at the moon that's what basically inspired this painting and on top of that i just needed a way to cope with the quarantine lockdown and i just decided to use all this extra time to get in tune with myself and embrace creativity and while we're here on this topic, if you haven't already, support your girl by hitting that subscribe button. Just know I'm also open to feedback and answering any questions. To make the stars as random as possible, uh, just to get that real night sky effect, I taped off around the circle and placed a bag all around not to get the paint everywhere. So yeah, I use a toothbrush that specifically is used for paint. Don't be using a used up toothbrush. We're better than that. This strategy is not that challenging at all, but I do suggest practicing using a sheet of paper just to see how your paint is going to splat. You just never know the thickness of the paint. You never know how harsh you're gonna pull the bristles back and then what it's gonna create after. So I really do suggest practicing because once everything splats on there, you're gonna have a big ass mess. All right, now here, I'm just making an outline shape of an eye using white to give it that contrast. And I'm gonna keep it a buck. This part of the video when it comes to editing is the real reason why I speak shit up because I'm a perfectionist when it comes to my own work. And if I would have kept it at a normal speed, y'all would have been here for a minute. In other words, you're welcome. If you're curious to know, I'm not new to YouTube, but I did take a break. I was managing a whole career change. I enrolled myself back into school for my master's degree, which a bitch is finally almost done. And of course, just life. Like, what else can I say? Just life. But yeah, if you made it this far into this video, congratulations, you're a bad bitch. Nah, just kidding, just kidding. Unless you want to. But anyways, if you like what you see, like, comment, and subscribe, and hopefully see you next time. Bye. Oh